Joe Lieberman, former U.S. Senator and VP candidate, has died Joseph I. Lieberman. The Connecticut senator who approached the pinnacle of Democratic politics as Al Gore's running mate in 2000 only to be driven from the party six years later over his support for the invasion of Iraq ordered by the Republican who beat them, died Wednesday. He was 82. Lieberman, who had been working to find a candidate to lead a presidential ticket for the no-labels movement he served as a founding chairman, died in a New York City hospital after a fall Tuesday, a family spokesman said. His wife Hadassah and family members were with him. He won his fourth and final term as a U.S. Senator from Connecticut as an independent in 2006 after losing a Democratic primary to Ned Lamont that was dominated by Lieberman's unflinching support for a war president George W. Bush launched on the basis of false intelligence that Iraq possessed weapons of mass destruction. The loss in Lieberman's telling led to his rebirth outside any party. He remained a member of the Democratic caucus in the Senate, but endorsed and campaigned for John McCain against Barack Obama in 2008, culminating in Lieberman's primetime address to the Republican National Convention. In a recent interview with the Connecticut Mirror, one of two planned shortly before his death, Lieberman insisted that a third-party ticket could compete against President Joe Biden and former President Donald J. Trump, even though no labels had yet to find a candidate. Thank you